Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018 <clears throat> and while I'm doing the shuffling uh, I want to remind you guys that uh, this is a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will try to do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards there are synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, <clears throat> that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So we're going to the tarot spread first. And the first card, the first position that we do have about our spread is for the topic of the week. The second position is about the core of the situation. The third position that we do have is going to represent the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last position, it's um, for the guidance that Saro is offering for us, Scorpios, because I am a Scorpio as well. So let's see what we have here. Now the, the first one that is to be the Page of Pentacles, so that will be a very good week for us Scorpios because the Page of Pentacles uh, uh, usually manifests itself as a topic, as a uh, doors opening for us. Um, um, for example, it could manifest in many different ways, it could be doors opening for us to make money, to make relationships, to get a support from other people as well. In general, this card points that we are to find a, a huge devotion. Um, for ourselves either into our career or either into our relationship which uh, or either into our personal life excuse me that could be a, a relationship that it is yet to happen or it could be consolidating a current relationship the bo the bottom line with this card is that this is going to be a undertaking a, a devotion that is going to be a long-term one something that we have to look forward to something that we have a, a huge amount of field to grow as well because the page is holding the value here in its hands uh, symbolizing that the page or you in that case knows you will know what you're working for you will know that what you do and what you're about to do uh, what you plan to invest in is gonna worth it big time and as you can see here down in the cart there are um, <clears throat> some flowers uh, a thriving you know they are basically growing so that that literally displays the uh, ability this situation to grow further and to grow to a, a great extent uh, this card it is very favorable as well for relationships all right because um, in many cases when we do have the page of Pentacles uh, uh, the card itself asks us to start looking and glancing upon those that are already around us instead of instead of uh, you know uh, trying to always find the best possible suitor somewhere else outside of our social circle because in many cases this card is pointing that someone that is a friend of us has more than just friend friendship intentions and they are truly determined to make us happy therefore Scorpios if you are feeling lonely throughout this week and now in general you know um, Oh, only thing that you do have uh, th 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 that you have to do guys is just look closer in the circle that you are in at this very moment so very very positive week it is that is coming for uh, Scorpio here and the next card it is it is displaying the um, core of the situation or why this is happening we do have the six of wands so the six of wands represents reaching a, a milestone, uh, reaping fruits of one's labor, victories as well, being rewarded, being recognized, and also a, a help is coming around. So this card in that specific sense and follow up, it points that you are on the right track. So basically you did something very substantial recently, you know, you took a, a big step forward, although it may involve a certain risk. And I'm saying that because I know what I did and, um, you know, I know now this is a confirmation for me that it's going to pay off a, a big time and I'm kind of revealed. Uh, seeing that reading but uh, yeah it, it, this card in generally speaks that you did a, a tremendous effort a effort recently even though you may um, 
you know, some of you may not think that that is the case, uh, that the efforts were tremendous, but yeah, you did some, let's say, uh, productive efforts, efforts that really worth it, and now you are at the milestone through which the only way for you moving forward is upwards, the way of growing. <clears throat> and in that specific specific sense here, this, uh, this um, uh, combination, let's give you a relationship example, alright? Uh, this combination could speak that a friend of yours is truly enthralled by, uh, by your world, by you as well, you know, by the way you react, by the way you um, express your emotions and they kind of realize that, you know, that being just a friend uh, while you together could be so much more. It's uh, it's just a blasphemy. It's 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 a huge loss, and that's why they may reveal their emotions and their intentions towards you throughout the week. Which you are to realize that you have a friend, as I said here, that uh, has more to you than uh, they were showing until this very moment. The very least, guys, this uh, particular combo is a, a sure sign that you are on the right track. Because in personal readings, I very often say, uh, get that question, you know, am I, am I on the right track? You do have that combo in these specific positions in the spread. You are on the right track, Com Scorpio. Keep, up, keep it up and keep on going, keep on moving with that original plan you are having at your behalf. Now the next card it is to show us the challenges uh, that are to cause predicaments. And we have the world card. So as we, all, as we all know the world card is about completion. And uh, how this could be a challenge here uh, some may ask themselves. Uh, that is about mindset. All right, because what I said here is this is a, a long-term goal. This is something slowly developing, but in the same time, we have huge potential to grow. And maybe you will want results to happen exactly at this week, all right? Exactly as you have initiated. And this is where the world, the world card is putting boundaries. I mean, the world card here tells us that it, it, it is going to need time and it's going to need a, a big portion of time so that is how you are solving those issues i mean you need to change your mindset that what what you are to uh, undertake here throughout the week is going to require its time to uh, develop to unfold and to manifest as well the world card sometimes resembles a, a liberty um, resembles you know how can i place it being detached from some issues that you do had in the past so that card could be a, a sign that something may haunt you as well from the past not allowing you to fully experience the uh, the pleasure from starting this new agenda here this new devotion because it could um, occasionally uh, drag you with those kind of like problems that you do had in a couple of weeks ago or in a month ago etc etc in that specific case this card could manifest as a challenge for you to resolve those issues in this particular week so you can entirely focus upon that um, uh, upon that devotion of yours and as challenge it is a challenge to be overcome so you can definitely resolve uh, the ongoing issues that you may have right now which were created not in this specific week but in the weeks that are um, in the recent past and the last card here it is the guidance for a Scorpio that uh, the tarot has we do have the magician card so this tells us a couple of things here first of all it tells us that we are not fully prepared to um, make the growth to extend that the growth here is possible what we need to start considering is to obtain new skills new knowledge and in general new qualification especially if this is about career reading here you know so because this could be a, a definition of a new business or of a new project that is promising a, a promotion raising salary etc etc but the magician here says that we still have what to improve in ourselves so we can be fully capable you know to to basically bring it to the extent that it is um considered acceptable from those giving the project to us therefore uh <clears throat> considering 
start learning something, signing yourself for obtaining adi uh, uh, additional qualification as well is going to be uh, a very productive. Also, the magician card points that um, you need to, we need Scorpios to take uh, a full advantage of our well-developed communicational skills. When we are to do something, we should not hesitate. We should not kind of exert insecurity, but rather we need to show how determined we are. Also, the card asks us to maintain our personal sovereignty here you know not to allow other people to mess with our staff and to kind of slumber us to make us this to make us despondent with their critics and with their criteria as well etc etc in general this card points that we need to first believe in ourselves have a clamorous beliefs for what is to come recognize what we lack so we can obtain it because the magician is also about gathering resources all right and as we are fully prepared then we are to start growing here materially and emotionally and in general a, a great future is awaiting for us that is going to be planted the seed for it is are going to be plant, planted in this week October 22nd to October 28th so that was the uh, tarot reading for you Scorpios now I will shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, what they are to show us is a event that we Scorpios should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid so one second all right so let's see what we got here the first one this is uh, the anchor and the anchor stands for longevity it stands for hope it stands for stability it stands for long term as well now the next one this is going to be the cross and the cross stands for uh, the, the desperation suffering despondency anxiety as well and uh, depression in many cases and then the next one this is going to be the sun and the sun is uh, is standing for a, a great success a, a great luck huge recognition as well uh, and in generally one of the it is the most positive card in the Norman deck so what we do see here is a, a long-term despondency a, a, a long-term misfortune even if I can say it that way a long-term suffering is coming to an end through a, a great great success all right it's not just coming to an end for whatever reason it is coming to an end because you have achieved a, a great stuff throughout the week all right so your life Scorpio is to improve with a large margin and I hope that we Scorpios are uh, how can I place it determined to do as much as we can to maximize this good fortune that is waiting for us in that specific week um, October 22nd to October 28th and what is uh, what is funny here guys is that uh, yesterday I had a um, I had a meeting you know a cup of coffee with a very good astrologer here in Bulgaria and, 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 and you know that astrologer look at my car and there is a transit happening in Scorpio I think you know and uh, it is it is saying basically the same stuff it's not about that week I think it's for a couple of weeks after this one but in this week it is where we are planting the seeds to start growing so uh, yeah it's uh, it, basically what we need to do here is truly recognize uh, the, the value is that we can push to a, a great extent of growth and keep on pushing into that direction while we can use the free time throughout this week to resolve some issues from our past which may cause us uh, setbacks moving forward with our great devotion so that being said Scorpios this was your weekly tarot reading uh, and the Normand one for October 22nd to October 28, 2018. I hope you enjoyed and you liked it, guys. And again, this was just a general reading for Scorpio star sign. This was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it's forced to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, uh, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.